Shalane here and today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite support for your lower back, hips and your pelvis. I'm going to put a link below on where you can find this on Amazon in both Canada and the United States. So first and foremost, when would you use one of these back supports? So you could use it in two different situations. If you've injured yourself or you're experiencing back spasm, this support can be amazing at restabilizing that area so it, you can move around your house a little bit more and allow your body to calm down a little bit so that you can heal. I'm actually gonna put a link below to a video we did on what to do if you've thrown your back out and you have a spasm. And we talked about using very, very specific support for that. Another way you can use it if you're just starting to feel unstable in your lower back or you've had a previous injury and you know you have some instability and you're still working on developing that core strength to hold yourself, then you can use this support for short periods of time when you're doing certain activities. We never recommend that you start to wear support full time, all day, every day, unless you've had an injury because what happens is slowly you'll stop using your actual musculature and you'll actually end up weaker over time and more prone to injury. So you only want to use this support as needed. So there's absolutely no problem if you put this on for two or three hours while you're raking the leaves or you're moving some heavy items and then you take it off and you go about your day. The reason that we like this support so much is because it's very adjustable for different sizes and different levels of tension. So I'll show you what I mean. So when you get this support out, what you're gonna do is you're going to aim, you're gonna see that it has a little curve here that's gonna go up towards your upper back. When you go to put the support on, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to aim to do it up just below the two hip bones that stick forward. So the two things that are protruding through the front of your pelvis here, you're going to take the actual back support and you're gonna aim it just under them and just very lightly do up this back support. So you can see I'm not using all my muscles to have an incredible amount of tension as we do this. So I'll show you what it looks like in the back. Again, it's, it's lower than a lot of people think it's going to be, so it's sitting very comfortably just under my hip bones. So the, the top of my hip bones is grazing the top of this lumbar support. And then what I'm gonna do in order to get more tension is I'm gonna take the two smaller straps. So these two smaller straps come forward so that I can now adjust the tension. So it's very easy throughout your day to make this tighter or looser. You don't want it incredibly tight because that will create more tension in the area as it gets squeezed. You want a light amount of support so your body can feel that there's something helping those muscles support that area. And the muscles themselves and the joints don't need to do as much work. This is actually a great one too because although it has an incredible amount of support, a lot of our patients find they can hide it under their clothing. So if they put a shirt on top of it or a jacket on top of it, they don't, people don't even know it's there. And it's very easy just to change up the amount of tension as they're going throughout their day. Some of our patients, if they've had a pretty intense injury, will even sleep in this back support so they don't hurt themselves as they roll over at night. So again, this is our favorite one for all of those reasons. It's also extremely affordable. We'll put the links below. Let us know if you have any questions or if we can help in any other way. And if you got value from this video, we'd really like it if you click like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.